And all you gotta do is wait for it to stop burning. Hey world, Will White here, Dave Grasty with the Pike Antler Project, giving you a pro tip on using scraps you may find even in the middle of the woods. Floods happen, rain, all sorts of patterns can push debris up on land. If you're lucky enough to find a glass bottle, we're gonna show you how to cut it with nothing but something flammable like the moonshine. I oftentimes carry in my pack because it's good disinfectant. At the end of the day as well, we're feeling down after a couple of days. A little sip of moonshine will feel pretty good. Fire Tons starter. Of, especially fire starter, hypothermia video, which is coming out very, very soon. But all you need is some cordage, P cord or any sort of decent cordage, bottle, a spark, and some moonshine. Now how it works is very interesting. When they melt glass, essentially the glass contracts. It pulls itself together. Ice freezes, it expands. So by heating this up, right, we're compressing the glass and by going from a constant, from a very quick transfer from hot to cold, it's gonna cause the glass to rapidly expand, creating a semi-clean cut. And then you have a more usable container. Here we go, it's about 40 degrees, I'm guessing. Water's pretty chilly today, so we're gonna see how well this works. Generally, I have a small flask. Uh, I left that at home because it's empty now, because I drank it. So we have this, we're near the house. Same concept, it's moonshine. What you'd wanna do, to conserve it, if you really wanted to conserve your moonshine, is go ahead and soak your cordage in there for a few seconds versus wrapping this and then pouring moonshine onto this. You're gonna lose a lot that way. So we're gonna be conservative because we train survival and you never wanna be wasteful in survival. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my rough, rough distance, okay. As long as you have a sturdy knot, you're pretty good. I always like to go with a square knot And when you turn this into a cup, it's going to be much more plausible for uh, cooking greens, cooking wild uh, grubs, insects. Instead of trying to get stuff down in that bottle, I can get my crayfish right in there instead of trying to shove it down the neck of the bottle. And, and also trying to get the critters back out yes. is difficult. So use your imagination. Almost just about any situation where you need some sort of container or a cup, and this is all you have, this is an option. And we're gonna raise it above the paper so the paper does not affect the outcome. Uh, we're gonna want the flame right up against the glass. And many people teach to rotate. So once you light it, to rotate it. If you keep it upright, we're kind of doing several things at once. We're getting a much more even burn and safer because I'm not having to manage this flame with my hands. I can just light it, set it down somewhere stable, unlike this. And while it's expanding exactly where the cordage is, everything right above it's getting warmed as well. So what's on the bottom is gonna stay cold. Everything on top is gonna get warmer, giving us, as Dave said, a cleaner break. You don't even need a functioning lighter, meaning you don't have to have gas. The spark is enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit, sir. Okay. sir. Thank you, sir. Ooh, oh! Oh! Party foul. go right up here and all you got to do is wait for it to stop burning Toss the pan. Ready? here we go just like that it's that easy it's not a perfect cut but now we have an open container with a lot more options don't discard this this is a funnel this is a weapon could even make a fish trap out of it if you needed. In a survival situation, uh, your options are limited by your knowledge and your resources. If you find yourself in a situation and you do it completely wrong or different, but it works, it works. The big question is, did it work? You can have so many professionals telling you that's not how it's done, you can't do it that way, you can't do it that way. In survival, do what you gotta do to stay alive. I'm gonna add this wheel before we close out. Um, everything in a survival situation is a resource, everything.
that's jet fuel. <laughs> I can walk it forward more like it. And again, this only works with like super pure. This is a 188 proof. So it's not your normal. Did I just see fire come out of your face? Jesus. <laughs> it felt like it. So household vodka isn't going to burn the same way. Rum, any other clear liquor. Uh, Bacardi 151 does work. And there's another super potent Everclear. Everclear should work. I've tested the Bacardi 151. Definitely works. Everclear. We'll try that next. <laughs> Thanks again. Stay alive as long as you can.